It's a privilege to be joined on the summit today by a couple of gentlemen from the Asbury Eagles men's basketball program, Coach Will Schaus and Nick Fort, who is in his final season with the Eagles this year. Coach, I want to start with you really quickly. 19-6 and six overall on the year. There's so much going on around campus right now, but that has to be a big deal as well. And you're coming off a great weekend as you won in the NCCAA Regional Tournament, came away with victories over Kentucky Christian and Alice Lloyd as well. Can you take us through the week? Weekend, as you all have punched your ticket to the national tournament with the victories. With the NCCAA, um, there are different ways to get there. One of them is to win your region, which we had. Uh, there's six teams in our tournament. There's different qualifications, but we played the two games over the weekend um, that allowed us to get in. But now last year, this time, there's, so there's usually two at-large bids. Well, we lost in this in the championship game last year and had to wait around, not knowing. I mean, we were practicing without any idea if we were going to get in or not. And we had to have like four scenarios happen for us to get in. And I lost years off my life. My hairline started going back, you know. So I was I was living and dying with each game. And so this year to already punch your ticket and not have to wait on any scenarios. Oh, I'm, I'm living I'm living good right now. <laughs> well, I can give you a preview of what that hairline receding looks like. So <laughs> Uh, let, don't go there just yet, Coach. Okay, all right. I'll hold on as long as I can. You all obviously are doing well, though. I mean, winning your last three games, six of your last seven, it seems like the Eagles are peaking at the right time. We are. And, you know, the thing is, uh, we've been very specific on the type of person and type of athlete and type of player that we wanted on this team. And, and we were willing to give up wins to get it. And that was a team of grateful, appreciative uh, men who are willing to seek out what God has in store. And the thing is, I didn't know what that was going to look like, but I knew I could sleep better at night knowing that they appreciate, number one, each other, and they appreciate the time that my coaching staff and their families. I mean, it's such a, a family and basketball together thing. We don't do it separate that if you're going through life together in the journey, you at least want to do it with guys who appreciate the journey as well. And so it actually turned out to be very good. The rewards were, number one, we are have a fun group that has no egos and is selfless, but we also are winning games. So it, it kind of it worked out well for us. It, it sounds that way. Nick, uh, one of those players on that team that Coach feels comfortable with then is, is going along on that journey. And, and why not? Not only uh, are you, I'm sure, doing things well off the court, but on the court, uh, fantastic performance, especially in this year final season there. 24 points a game in each of the two victories over the weekend, which is appropriate because you're averaging 24 points per game for the season as a whole. So why not hit 24 points in, in those two games? And and then averaging a double-double, 10.8 boards per game as well. So it was a good weekend for you. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, most importantly, we got uh, two big wins. Um we really focused hard on the Alice Lloyd game and the championship, and that's who we actually lost to last year um, up in, in at their place. So we wanted to get a little bit of revenge and uh, punch our ticket a little bit early and not have that that uh, waiting stress that we had last year. So, um, yeah, this year, I mean, we just came together as a group, as a collective, and uh, we were able to win those games and, make, and, and, and punch our tickets. So uh, it was a great weekend for uh, the Asbury Eagles. You know, Nick, putting double digits on the board is is something that you've done in, in your time there at Asbury as well because uh, you, you've never scored since your time, since you've been playing with the Eagles, you've scored in double figures every single game, all three years uh, of your time there. So I think it's appropriate then you're continuing that. Now, talk about your experience there with the Eagles. Well, my, my experience is something uh, I couldn't even imagine um, coming into it. Um, I transferred in my first two years were at a, a, a different college. And um, when I left that college, I just didn't really love the game, kind of uh, lost confidence in myself. And uh, Coach Shouse, Coach Abner, and the rest of the coaching staff really um, built me up and um, allowed me to be me, which was which was so important for not only um, my playing abilities, but just, you know, my mental, emotional um, health as well. So um this is my career here is, is is not done yet but it's been um everything i could have ever imagined and um i could have never thought that um i'd be sitting here today um putting up numbers like that and um getting accolades but it's really just a testament to my coaches and uh, my teammates for for trusting me and, and allowing me to uh be, be myself 
we're getting to visit now with Coach Will Schaus and with Nick Fort from the Asbury Eagles here on Midwest Sports Net, where we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. And I definitely want to talk about a few more things today as, as Asbury's been in the news a lot lately, yes, especially yes. in the month of February. I know we're into March right now, and it's been nationwide, and, and literally it's been worldwide because of the revival that's been taking place on campus. Can you all talk about that and, and uh, what's been going on? I, I know there's been there's been so many people that have had an opportunity to talk about it, but uh, from folks in the athletic department, what have you seen? Well, so I was a student here of 9802, and so my journey came through here as well as, as my, my walk with Christ. And the thing that I was probably would have been the most nervous about if this went on when I was a student is walking in and feeling any uh, shame, guilt, or push to the altar for anything, and that I would have been just a little uneasy about. I walked in the first day, and it was like the opposite. It was a hug from God. It was a. It was almost like I walked into a uh, like a family reunion of of people that I hadn't seen forever. Even though I had seen these people, it was like, oh, you know, come on in. You know, it was like going to your safest space and. Uh, always my, my grandfather's house growing up, my grandparents' house was my, my, my favorite spot. If I go back to the mo place where I felt the most safe and it felt like I was walking in to their, their living room again. And then of course I had such a good feeling and everybody else did too. And it's just complete worship time that as you talk to others, they want to see what it's about too. But, um, I mean, in the day of, of social media and it gets a lot of, uh, negative looks as well, but if something like that happens, it hits social media and everybody wants to know what's going on. But I can tell you from my experience and Nick can, can speak to it, too. It was a blessing. And, you know, everybody that went in there has a story to tell. And it's it's interesting to hear the different takes from different people. But, no, it was I can't even fathom now, even looking back how we did it all, because it went from like three days. I went to the, like the first three days and it was all worship, all love. And then after that, God kind of steered me to how can I help uh, people that are coming in? How can we provide meals and food and, you know, help with with security and not, you know, not bad security, just kind of steering people in the right way. Uh, they had to get uh, porta potties and stuff in here. Um, so just how could I help with that? And then I can't kind of think that's kind of how our guys felt, too, because as it grew, we went into more help mode. Right. Nick? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, just like Coach said, just felt really inviting uh, walking in. One one morning, I woke up and uh, just felt a, a pull to pull to go. And uh, um, I'm actually pretty new in my faith. Um, started earlier uh, this year, about September, October, um, when I gave my life to Christ. So um, just seeing a revival like this um, in my early stages of um, of my walk it was was just phenomenal. And uh, walking in. Um, I was just brought to tears for about the first two hours there, just, just straight um, prayer, worship, uh, tears of joy. Um, walked out kind of feeling rejuvenated and um, and and more alive than than ever. So uh, it was it was just great um, being there for the first couple of days. And then, like Coach said, uh, it went to that help mode um, after after those first couple of days because we had I think uh, I saw one report of like over fifty thousand different people came to the city of Wilmore and. Uh, if you know Wilmore, it's it's a uh, pretty pretty small. We're town. not we're not built for that. So uh, <laughs> so having all those people and the um, coming in was was great, and just to see the the, the work of God um, moving in so many so many lives and, and spirits, which is something I've never um, experienced or, or, or seen before, and it, it's um it's it's the best part of of why I came here. Um, you know, to grow my faith. Wasn't expecting that. You know, I came to play basketball and get get, get my degree, but um you know. That the greatest thing that this uh, school has given me was is definitely um, um, getting me in my walk with with uh, with Christ and and growing in my faith. Well, it's really something to see what God can do even through basketball. So that's uh, that's pretty cool that that you have have been able to grow in that. Oh, what a testimony, guys! It's absolutely phenomenal to get to hear about what the Lord is doing. And I have to ask though, because sports didn't stop. I mean, yeah. with all this that's been going on, I mean, that everything has continued. You all continued playing games. I know that you got to help and, and work and, and be a part of, of assisting other people and, and 
hopefully I'm sure being a blessing to other people as well, but the sports continued by the way you kept winning. Uh, I'm sure that was a, that was a nice thing along the way too. You even had senior day on campus with uh, all that was going on. Talk about how the two things work in conjunction with one another and, and how do you continue on playing sports with, with what God's doing uh, across campus in, in uh, other ways? Well, just like I was talking about with, with family, you can't do family. If you're coaching, you can't do family and basketball separate or else you're not going to do either of them very good at all. Well, same with, with God and basketball, we do those things together. And the only separation is we're working our bodies out for those two hours of the game or that we're, um, you know, we're practicing, but no, the good thing about the revival too, was it, it was probably good and bad for some security too, though it was open 24 hours at the beginning. So, you know, sometimes the guys needed a little break if they were uh, it, a break from, from basketball to go to chapel or a break from chapel to, to go to basketball. And we found that we just embraced it and didn't separate the two. And it was just like, we were worshiping in a different way, using our talents um, that God gave us to, to just keep going. Yeah. Uh, just to piggyback off what uh, coach said, uh, we always keep it real faith-based here um, in the men's basketball program. I know other programs, uh, sports programs do as well here. Um, we always pray before we uh, start practice, always pray out before we leave. But uh, with the revival going on, it just seemed like it grew. We were, um, you know, just, just more loving and, uh, and more connected because uh, I remember before practice, there was probably 10 or 12 of us in there um, up until about 30 minutes before practice when we had to leave and get to the gym. So, um, really helped us bond um, a little bit more as well, um, even though we already had a great bond, um, just just added to it. And for the games, uh, students still came came out and um, and participated in, in, the, uh, in the stands and, and cheered us on, which was great. So uh, um, this campus is just really, uh, really intertwined and close um, within between the students. So so um, we were able to still play and uh, have our support and um and, and grow with our, our faith as well. You know, the funny thing about it is senior day, a lot of the, because it was earlier, it was a Saturday, so it was earlier during the day. A lot of the families that came to senior day then went over to the chapel after. So uh, it was a way to, you know, get more people here and, and see what's going on. That's it's so fantastic you get to hear these things, guys. And I have to ask then, as, as part of this is is moving on, kind of transitioning, It's it's this phase is, is uh, seems to be in the books, if you will, for right now. What do you take away from this? How do you, how do you continue with what you're doing? And um, coach, I'll ask you first, but Nick, even with that, I mean, you were talking about, this is something you're new in your faith, then, you know, an experience like this, how do you grow from it? And what do you, what do you take away? What comes to mind coach? Um, I, I took this from our, our president. Who's a great guy. Dr. Brown is so supportive. He actually played uh, basketball at the university of Indianapolis. So he's got a hoops background, but he, one of the first things he addressed to the faculty and staff was, all right, guys, there's no playbook for this. You know how we're going to handle this. He said, you can't prepare for it. And I think that that's kind of kind of what I learned, like be ready for what comes next and be ready for God to work because you, you don't know what kind of work he's doing or through whoever or somebody we meet somewhere, how we compete. Um, you know, we eat in a lot of restaurants over the time. Who sees us praying? Uh, what questions they might have? And it also gave a lot of... Uh, um, I guess God just kind of saying, look, you know, I put you in this, in this spot for a reason. Now help guide these guys, you know, through those feelings and, and let them talk and have those conversations. So, I mean, just, and the blessings are still coming from, from the revival um, and just guys giving their life wholly to the Lord guys that were in half feet you know, or, or one foot in one foot out or, or, you know, just a total commitment. You can see it in the way they're living their life. And, and also it's freedom up on the court. I mean, just, you know, we're all in this thing together. It's their egos have, have really, I don't know. It's, it's, it's hard to put into words, but it's, it's been much easier to coach this group. And that's not like wins and losses. It's just, I don't want it to be over because it's been such a good year, such a fun year. And, you know, my son's a freshman on this team. So like he's getting to be a part of it and uh, such a special group and and a year at the school so uh that was the long answer to how what i'm taking away from but i'm still taking a lot away from it 
Yeah, uh, what I took away from it was just, uh, you know, of course, like I, like I said, um, being new in, in my in my walk uh, relatively um, was just, you know, God, God's constantly working um, for, for, for this to happen. So so uh, early into my walk was just, you know, yet another sign that, uh, you know, God is real. God is working. And, um, you know, it just, it just helped me um, stay disciplined with what, what I was trying to do, my, my journaling and. And, uh, you know, getting in the word um, either in the morning or before I go to bed and, um, you know, you know, praying throughout the day. So it was just, uh, you know, another instillment to, to keep me um, hungry and keep me wanting to, you know, grow in my walk. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and, and, and for the season, um, you know, with this being my last ride, you know, you know, I've tried to enjoy um, enjoy my ride. Um, I've, that's been my, my motto this year. Um, never really took the time in earlier years of my career to step back and really um, enjoy the moment and uh, realize all the things that, that um, we have accomplished as a team and, and individually. And, and um, I was always looking for, okay, next year I want to, you know, get a little bit stronger and, and, you know, get better, a better handle or a better, better uh, shoot, uh, shooting touch. But uh, this year I've really just enjoyed the moment, stayed in it. And um, I think that's a testament to, to God for allowing me to do that and um, and just soaking it all in and um, enjoying it. So that's that's what I would say. Well, it's so great to hear this from you all. I'm sure an experience that you'll never forget and something that hopefully is uh, the beginning of 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 uh, what can happen nationwide and worldwide as well. And in, in uh, this this time in our history, uh, guys, to just wrap it up a little bit. Let me get back to basketball just for a moment. The women that play for the NCAA regional NCCAA regional tournament uh, opportunity this coming weekend. You all don't play again until a couple of weeks from now, but that's going to be at uh, Winona Lake up in Indiana, Grace University, and you all are going to be playing in the NCCAA national tournament then. I just ask you uh, really quickly, preparations for that. How's it going? What's the mindset? Interesting, because now we've had to turn off like the competitive thing this week and make sure to, we stay in shape, don't lose anything, but get kind of healed up, any nagging injuries. And then we'll kind of watch and see how the dominoes fall, but we'll pick it back up, you know, every day next week. This week's more of a workout week. Next week will be more practice and film and things like that. But, yeah, the girls, uh, you know, they got a big one coming up. So our women's coach, Chad Mays, does a great job. He is now every day he gets closer to the games this weekend he's wound a little bit tighter and that was me last week and me this week i'm just i'm free as a bird you know that's the way the coaching world goes though sometimes yeah like like coach said just uh, rehabbing those nagging injuries uh and just keep keeping the cardio up i've been i've been icing every day um get on the bike um you know getting shots up so so just uh just staying prepared staying locked in um but kind of turning off that competitive nature as well um, you know, we got two weeks. We don't need to be beating up on each other in practice or anything, being competitive with each other. Uh, we just want to save it for the, for the national tournament. And uh, that's the goal that we set out for the game of season. Um, so we're all dialed in and laser focused on it. And um, I think we'll get it done. But uh, the girls have a big one coming up and um, they've closed out their season pretty well. So I, so I look um, forward to them advancing. Uh, I feel like they can make it to the national tournament. Hopefully we, can well. both, hopefully we can both be there for sure, just like last year. Uh, that would, I'm sure, that'd be great. What a representation, too, and just put up a lot of shots this week, guys. Just enjoy. Yeah, it. Don't worry about that. We'll we got that covered. <laughs> enjoy it. Well, thank you so much for being with me here on the summit. I want to say that I'm excited again about what God's not only doing on the campus, but for the team as well, and get to hear that and uh, to see what is happening and the the real experiences that uh, are going on. And I just pray God bless you all, and that it continues. We're going to follow along. We'll be watching in a couple of week, a couple of weeks as we'll keep up with the NCCAA tournament up in Winona Lake as well. But uh, for Coach Will Schaus and, and Nick Fort, thank you so much again for being with me on the summit today, and God bless you all. Thanks for having yeah. us. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you for having us. It's been fun.